So of all the features that have been offered over the years on DJI drones, Waypoints is by far the most useful and impactful of them all. The best thing about owning a drone is having the ability to explore your creativity through a variety of means, and Waypoints offers endless possibilities when it comes to capturing and creating content that inspires. So today what I wanna do is I wanna show you just four of the many ways that Waypoints can be used to create amazing videos. But first, let's get up in the air and run through a brief tutorial on how to set up a Waypoint mission. All right, I'm gonna to try to keep this as concise and uh, quick as possible. So a Waypoints mission is engaged by tapping on this icon right over here, this little squiggly sideways S on the left-hand side of your screen. And that's gonna bring up the Waypoint planning mission. And you can either push C1 to add a waypoint or you can just click on this arrow and then click on that plus right there. I prefer to push the C1 button on the left hand backside of your controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, tap. So what we did right there is we locked in the drone's altitude, the position, the gimbal height, uh, everything is locked in right there. So that's gonna record that and that's where uh, waypoint number one is gonna be. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly forward a little bit we're just gonna go right towards the new hospital campus here. And we're gonna go to just about right there. I'm gonna hit C1 again, okay? And then I'm gonna go, let's go up to the left a little bit. And then we're gonna increase in altitude. And we're gonna tilt the gimbal down a little bit. Okay, so we did three different moves there and we're gonna tap C1. And then we'll come up, we'll get nice and high and we'll turn a little more to the right and right there. Now I could be using the POI, the point of interest uh, waypoints function right here. You can highlight the hospital. The problem with that is when you're doing a big subject like this and if you select a point of interest, it doesn't really stay consistent. Like if you're doing a certain, you know, a smaller object like a vehicle or a person or something like that, that works. But if I just try to swipe on this whole big hospital here, it's not gonna work. So I always prefer to use the regular uh, waypoint mission. So let's go up a little higher now, put the gimbal down. You can see we got quite a bit of Canadian smoke going on here. I really feel bad for the Canadians. We've been having this smoke for, I don't know, four or five months. So uh, yeah, a lot of fires going on up there this year. So. I think it's a combination of uh, fog as well this morning. So, all right, and let's do one more and we'll get that gimbal down right there and hit C1. Okay, so now we got all of our waypoints set. Well, it doesn't look like that one worked. Do it again, there we go. Uh, we have all of our waypoints set and now what we can do is you can go ahead and tap on any one of these waypoints. So let's just tap on number one and then you can set uh, different parameters right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this, that first waypoint that I set, I'm gonna have the drone automatically start recording. So I'm gonna tap on that right there. It shows you what the altitude is at the beginning of that at number one. Uh, global speed, we're gonna do that in just a second, so don't worry about that one. It shows you the heading of the drone and then where the gimbal is tilted, like what angle. So let's go back out, let's get that out of the way. Let's go to number six, the last waypoint. That's where we are right now. And what we wanna do here is we wanna stop recording. So the drone's gonna to travel to uh, waypoint number one. It's gonna start recording once it starts the mission. And once it gets to this point, it's gonna stop recording. Okay, so let's back out there now. Let's click on these three little dots here on the uh, right-hand side. And here's where you can set your global speed. So right now it's set to 5.59, that's way too slow. So I'm gonna bump this up. Let's go, let's go all the way up to about 15 miles per hour. And then you can choose what camera you want it to use, either the wide angle or the zoom camera, like here on the Air 3. Uh, the return to home, excuse me, end of flight, you can set it to do four different things. You can have it hover right in place when it's done. You can have it come back home. You can have it land where it's at, but which I don't recommend. And then you can travel all the way back to point number one or whatever you set as the starting point. Uh, and then if it loses signal, it can return to home. You can have it hover, you can have it land. Again, don't do that. Or you could have just continue with the waypoint mission. And then when it's done, uh, it'll come back home. And then finally, you can set your starting point. So you can set any one of those waypoints as the place to start. Of course, I'm just gonna set mine to number one right there. And once you have that all determined, you're gonna go ahead and hit this go button right there. 
And what the drone's gonna do, it's gonna travel back over to where we started. So waypoint number one, and, uh, and then it's gonna begin the mission. So um, if you've been with the channel of any amount of time, you know that this hospital campus has been on quite a long process. Um, I wanna say it's been four years now, I think since the process started. So um, of course I've had many different drones since that time. And so I think the first waypoint mission that I did on this hospital was with the Mavic 2 Pro. And that was the, uh, I did a waypoints tutorial with the Mavic 2 Pro right out here in the same location. So, so happy that this hospital campus is open. It's been a long time coming. Wonderful, beautiful building. And uh, it's a great subject for shooting some of my videos. So, so now the drone lowers down to the position that we started at, the altitude, it's gonna rotate and then it's gonna adjust the gimbal to where it was uh, set at, and it starts recording, and then it travels through the mission. So it's gonna go straight ahead. We can go ahead and click on this, and you can watch it uh, on the map. If I can get the map to come up here, there we go. So you can watch it on the map there. You can see where the waypoints are. Uh, so that's kind of fun to see. Kind of zoom in a little bit here. There we go. So there's our S-shaped waypoint mission. And it's increasing in altitude. You can see right down there at the bottom, the gimbal pitch is changing and we're focusing in on the hospital campus as we're rotating around it. All right, and there you have it. There's a waypoints mission. Like I said, there's so many different ways to use waypoints. One thing I do wanna mention you guys, uh, when you are done with this mission, you can go ahead and click on the waypoints icon over here and then it will ask you if you wanna save that mission and then exit or just exit without saving. Maybe this is a one-time thing, uh, but I always save an exit because if I ever wanna come back out here and do that same pattern again, I'm gonna save it and uh, it's gonna store it right into the drone and so you always have that available. Uh, one thing that I also should mention is if you are running a waypoint mission and you're launching from a certain location and you wanna go back and get that exact same waypoint mission, that same altitude, you have to launch from the same location. If you go to a different location that has a different altitude, so let's say, even if I launched from the top of my vehicle, and then the next time I launched it from the ground, those numbers that you set the waypoints at are gonna be different, okay? They're, because where you started from, that's how it determines where the waypoint altitude is set to. So just be sure that you mark and remember, record, whatever, your launch location, because you wanna to try to do it from the exact same location, so those waypoints, altitudes are exactly the same. So there's two things that you guys uh, need to remember when you're running waypoints. So what I wanna do now is I wanna discuss the four most impactful ways that I at least use waypoints, and I think a lot of people do. There's just four really good ways that waypoints can contribute to your projects. The first and most common use of waypoints is to capture the same scene, angles, and movement patterns at different moments in time or different days of the week or different months or even different years. For instance, you can capture a concept of a project like the beginning of a project in its earliest stages and then years later capture that same scene after that concept becomes reality. And the feature that allows this is the ability to save your waypoints and then fly them over and over again. And this use case is one of the primary reasons that Waypoints was created. And it can be very powerful when done correctly. The second scenario that Waypoints is vital for is when you wanna fly close to an object and do it slowly and smoothly with having less anxiety. For instance, flying under this train trestle like I do often tends to be very concerning because there's so many angles and there's so many obstacles and just all of the iron that's around to collide into. And if I wanna get close to the bridge to have a more impactful video, I just can't use obstacle avoidance because it just won't keep going. It'll stop because the drone will see the obstacle and it'll just stop right there. So I have to disable the sensors to be able to get close enough and even with direct line of sight, like seeing it right in front of my eyes, it's still very difficult and very stressful. But by setting waypoints and flying close to the bridge to compose the shot, that helps reduce my anxiety because I know that that path is gonna be safe. It's a technique that makes you look like an incredibly skilled and daring drone pilot when in fact, it's just great technology. Another great time to use waypoints is when you're flying a long pattern in which you want the drone to move very smoothly with like no artifact movements. 
For instance, flying around our downtown area here, I wanted to capture the entire downtown in sort of a point of interest motion, but I didn't want the drone focused on one single point of interest, so I had to fly it manually. Now when you do this, it's inevitable that you make slight finger movements and if you ever want to speed ramp that footage, like if you ever want to like start slow and then speed into it and then slow down again, those little finger movements are really going to be exaggerated. With waypoints, there are no slight finger movements that can ruin a long smooth shot. You just set it up ahead of time and then you let the drone work its magic. Every part of that flight path will be smooth, giving you more options when editing. Finally, the number one reason that waypoints can be so powerful is because you can program your drone to move into positions and capture angles that even the most skilled pilots would have trouble doing. The combination of controlling the speed, the yaw, the altitude, and the gimbal pitch simultaneously is incredibly difficult, but waypoints makes it all possible with just the tap of a button. There are a variety of use cases for this, but one in particular is that of real estate. Some of the most striking aerial sequences on real estate videos that you can see are most likely accomplished by using waypoints. Beautifully dynamic patterns contribute to the wow factor that prospective buyers will remember. It's truly an art form and it can all be done with just a little bit of preparation and by utilization of waypoints. Now most mid-level and high-end DJI drones do come with waypoints. We haven't seen it in the smaller consumer drones like the mini series. We can only hope that one day waypoints will be a standard on all DJI drones. But until then, I'll list my recommendations of the best drones with waypoints in the video description. And be sure to check it often as I'll update it as the lineup expands. Now, if you aren't using waypoints, I hope this video inspires you to start using it more and find creative ways that it can take your aerial content to the next level. If you have any questions about waypoints or comments on how you think it could be used, comment down below so others can see and learn from you. Join the channel as a member for as little as $1.99 a month for bonus content that you wouldn't otherwise see here on the channel. Hit that like button if I provided you with any value today. Subscribe for future videos. Watch this video next because honestly, what do you have to do that's better today? Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day and as always, fly safe and fly smart.